The material that I created is a sensory bottle and specifically it's a Lego sensory bottle. So I just used my homemade plastic, not homemade, I did not make this bottle, but I used my plastic water bottle that was empty and I added water, dish soap, and um, hair gel in it. And then I also added Legos. So they fall slowly down. And the cool thing about these bottles is that you can personalize it, add whatever you'd like to it. You can add glitter, do a different theme. So if you wanted it to go along with a lesson, you can make it do that. Um, children that would use this specifically within their area of sensory processing, I would say a child who may have autism or ADHD, and those both would be the hypersensitivity. Specifically a student that would use this in their sensory diet, I think of a child that's in the classroom in the preschool that I'm student teaching in and he has a box of fidgets that he plays with during the lessons. Um, sometimes when he needs redirection, we use those sensory objects and there's a sensory room that he goes to. So I think this would be a good tool used for when he needs redirection or needs a brain break, thing, things along that line. And specifically, he loves the like two minute, one minute timers that have sand that you flip. And this kind of reminds me of that. So this could be something if you had it like um, super glued that you could use in the sensory bin that is an option for him to use. So I think, I like this idea too because you can do it simple like mine with the plastic water bottle but you can also do a fancy one um, if it's something you're going to use in your classroom daily I don't know if I'd use a plastic water maybe like the hard plastic ones with the like fancy lids so there's so many different things you can do with just one type so here is my lego sensory bottle